for Canada's Wonderland for 2019, known as Yukon Striker. So it's the first of its kind in the country. It's a dive, dive coaster, 3,625 feet long, 243 foot drop uh, into an underground tunnel. Now this will be the world's tallest dive coaster. It'll have the longest track of any dive coaster. It'll be the fastest dive coaster. This coaster has uh, only three cars uh, per train and the cars are extended out over the track. So you sit eight abreast on this coaster and there's no floor inside the train of the coaster. So your feet are dangling over the track or over nothing. It's the first coaster in the park that has an underground tunnel uh, and it's the first one that has a 90 degree drop. So you get held at 90 degrees for about three seconds and then you plummet at that great speed into that tunnel. Starting in January of 2018, we started construction of the foundations. So we've got uh, deep caissons, you can see some of them here behind me. They're all down about eight meters below grade. Um, and then we also started construction of the tunnel. From that point on, um, we continued with more foundation work and site work. We built this new roadway through the site, um, some of the electrical, some of the sound. Uh, and then steel shipments started arriving in the summer, and we started erection here in first week of August was about when we started. Finished steel erection in uh, December, end of December, first week of January, something like that. Um, and then we'll finish the mechanical installation. We've got a lot of pneumatic work to do, a lot of electrical work to do. Trains will arrive sometime in January, um, and we'll start testing sometime in March. We've been on site since the middle of August, just mobilizing, getting things ready. And, you know, we've done some pretty good progress in the last few weeks here. And I expect to be on site for another four or five months. Challenges, site conditions. I mean, the site conditions are good, the weather is good. However, it's like building a ship in a bottle here. It's a lot going on in such a tight spot, and I think that's our biggest challenge. 